Hey, I just wanted to share with you that no matter how smart you think you are, sometimes you're not. I bought this Make uh, Sky Blue controller. It's a 40 amp. And uh, I really wanted this to work great. But uh, this thing's been driving me nuck and futz. Uh, I bought it so I could uh, do some testing. I have this uh, hot water heater system. And... Uh, you know, they work they work well together, but I've had a system here going for, you know, almost five years. And uh, it's always run very nicely. Uh, I can leave it for a week and uh, come back and know the refrigerator has been working all that time and there's been no problems. Uh, this thing has a nasty habit of uh, tripping off the inverter with high voltage. Now, my inverter probably is a little sensitive you know, it kicks off in about the 15 volt range. But, uh, yeah, no matter how you set this thing, it just tends to go up a little bit too high. You know, it's trying to equalize or something. And uh, it's not working out very well. Uh, the other thing is, is I've seen some strange things happening with it. Uh, I'll come out in the morning and I'll look at the, uh, the uh, panel voltage. It'll be 19 volts. And uh, this thing has been running, uh, you know, it's a 60 volt system, so it's between 50, 57 and uh, 61 volts for uh, power point. And uh, I just disconnect the panels from it, plug it right back in, and uh, it starts working again, just as it should be. So, I mean, I had like a, a hundred and uh, it was like 77 uh, watts going into the battery and the power point was 19 volts and uh, disconnected it, powered it back up and it immediately went to uh, 61 volts and 125 watts going into the battery. So I don't know what's with that. I mean I can do a microprocessor reset on this thing which I might just have to do. But uh, you know right now it's at uh, 98 watts and I'm sending over 382, 400, yeah, 220 watts into the uh, water heater. This system works really nice. Uh, what I had before is kind of like, this is like the blue sky, uh, sky blue, and uh, what this does, it's a, a little 72 volt to uh, 12 volt uh, converter that I modify up to operate at power point. They say 15 amps, but it's a good solid six amps that you can run forever on it. And I'd have a couple of these in parallel. Uh, it's a sweet little system, cheap, and it uh, works great. This is my other buck converter. Like I said, I had the, you know three of these running in the system, and now it's down to one. This other little black box, that's a PWM off my uh, uh, 12 volt panels, you know. Everyone's got a few of those legacy things. Never buy 12 volt panels or 24 volt panels. So, uh, yeah, that's what's happening. And uh, I tell you, I'd buy uh, some uh, defective one of these in a heartbeat and modify them up for my purposes. Uh, the other thing is the like the fan. Uh, initially, it was like the fan would run once in a while when it was pulling a lot of load. But now that I've been around it a lot, you know, it'll be, it's at 22 watts. It's as cool as can be, and the fan's running, so I don't know. It's all hokum. So, uh, hope you find this interesting, and, uh, you know, a little forewarning. Like I said, I'd really like these to work, and uh, I'll figure out some way to make them work in the system, but, boy, right now it's a mystery.